here's our pretty nice little red hair color. Of all of the things that you've maybe rediscovered as a group, what do you think has, has breathed the most life into your game? Um, well, a lot of things. Um, you know, obviously when you start as poorly as we did, there's a lot of things wrong. And, um, you know, I would say penalty kill's been great. Um, goal has been great. Um, you know, the, the overall defensive play has been better, um, giving us a chance to, uh, to win games. Do you remember uh, what it was like the first time? some of the guys you looked up to and kind of understand what that looks and feels like for guys? Um, yeah, I was excited. Um, you know, it was exciting for me to play against Sid. And I remember even my first one against Ovi, um, you know, skating around and, and seeing the big big number eight on the other side. It was, uh, you know, a, dr a dream come true. You spent some time with uh, Connor Bedard in the offseason, I believe, doing some training. What impressed you the most of about him being on the ice with him? Uh, well, obviously, his shot. His shot is uh, is uh, is really, really what jumps off. Um, you know, but I was impressed just how smart he was, how skilled he is, how good he is with the puck. I mean, you know, anytime you're sorry, anytime you're like a, a you're a player of uh, of his stature, you're gonna have a lot of different skills, and he's got uh, all the tools in the toolbox. He's going through something that you went through in your rookie year in terms of just you know a lot of attention and that sort of thing. I don't know if you had a chance to talk to him, but what advice would you give a player like that? I'll answer this question for the thousandth time. Um, I don't get, there's not much advice that goes on um, around the league. Um, you know, he, uh, he's got a good head on his shoulders. Um, he knows what he's doing. He's got a good group of guys on the other side to, to, to help him if he ever, ever needs it. And, and um, he seems like he's handling everything well. One of the impressive things is that he comes in with a lot of talk about his shots. Everybody knows he's going to look to get that shot off, yet he's still been able to consistently do it, even though everyone's looking for it. Yeah, I mean, that's what great players do. Obviously, um, you know you know what's coming. Like Ovechkin, you know his shot's coming. But, you know, here he is chasing down, you know, 800-some on goals. So, um, you know, the great the great players can do that. And, obviously, he's he's, uh, he's one of those guys. Last year, even at the start of this year, you guys talked about you wanted to improve defensively. That was a big focus. Well, during this streak, like especially this past weekend, those are maybe two of the best games as far as limiting the opposition to quality chances. What's led to that? What's been the key for you guys to really reduce the shots against and the high danger against? Um, yeah, there's a lot of things that go into it. I think uh, our track gap has been really good. You know, we've been good at denying the, the denying entry. I think our demon have been breaking the puck out really well. Um, and when your demon break the puck out well, um, along with your forwards, but you know, when when your demon break the puck out well, it's. Uh, you don't spend much time in your D zone, and, and, and that helps a lot. That's uh, that's half the battle right there. Connor, did you, when you were going through this stuff, did you get much advice from anyone, or are you more the type of person that maybe like the other Connor to just kind of live it? And that's kind of the best experience you can get just by doing that. Yeah, I mean, there's not there's not a, again like there's not a ton of uh, advice that's being thrown around in in the league. Um, you know, there's. The guys talk about a lot of different situations, but you know, not necessarily advice. Um, for me, it was just um, being around the group in Edmonton. You know, I was very fortunate to have uh, you know a guy like Halsey um, in Edmonton, and I think Ebbs as well. Uh, a guy like Matt Hendricks, uh, you know, just a veteran presence, um, and those guys just made it uh, made it real easy for me. And the easy media group too was real real kind to you. That's right. Young, yeah. That's right. Yeah. You know, the oil the oil media group. Uh, you know, taking it easy on me. Yeah. <laughs>